Kermit and the Heartless Giant. This husband of mine, Scooter, is always nagging me. Just listen to him. If you don't look out, what did I tell you? He carries on like that all day long. Just to be spiteful, I'll sing a little song to annoy him. If you don't stop that now, I can't hear myself think back in the kitchen. I put the gravy on apple pie and the custard on the potatoes, so don't blame me if the dinner doesn't taste nice. I'm sure it won't taste any different from usual. What's that you're muttering? Oh, nothing here. Well, I hope you're not going to start singing again. It sounds awful. Oh, so my voice sounds awful, does it? It doesn't sound half as ghastly as yours when you learned, when you learned singing with that Giovanni Stefano fellow. It wasn't ghastly. It was jolly nice. You just listen. Please don't torture me anymore. It's worse than ever. Oh, so it's worse than ever, is it? You just wait, you pig. That will be the postman. I'll go and get the letters. Phew! I was in for it then. Postman just came. Just came, came just in time. There's a letter for you, Kermit. Goodness! It has the royal seal on it. It must be from the king. I wonder what's inside. The best way to find out is to open it and read it, isn't it? All right, don't snap. Dear Kermit, my er s o n er. Oh, you're hopeless. Let me read it. Dear Kermit, my son, the handsome golden-eyed prince, has been kidnapped by the heartless giant. And it would, I would be very grateful if... Hey, wait a minute, Scooter. You're reading it so fast that I can't understand a word. All right, I'll read it more slowly this time. Dear Kermit, my son, the handsome golden-eyed prince, has been kidnapped by the heartless giant. I would be very grateful if you would rescue him. If you succeed, you'll be handsomely rewarded. Signed, the King Animal. Oh, Kermit, you might get a bag of gold like last time. I'll be able to buy a new jacket, a washing machine, a television set, a... Stop that, Scooter. You mustn't hope too much. We haven't received the, the money yet. Anyway, I don't know whether I want to go. I don't like the sound of that giant. Don't be so silly. Of course you're going. I'll get some things you'll need to take with you. I thought you might like to take this in case you have to spend the night in the field. Oh no, Scooter. I can't carry a thing like that all over this countryside. I was only trying to help. I thought you might be thirsty, so I brought you this. Not orange juice, but I like it a nice bottle of water. Well, you're not having it, so there. You're so fussy. Ah, I know what you're certain to like. Now what I wonder. Ah, sausages. That's what I like. I'd better be going now. Goodbye, Scooter. Goodbye, Kermit. Kermit, what is it, Scooter? Haven't you forgotten something? No, what? You haven't kissed me goodbye. I'm awful sorry. Here's a big kiss for you. Mwah. I didn't mean to nag you all day long as I did. That's all right, Scooter. I didn't really mind. And, I, and you will take good care of yourself, won't you, Kermit? You never know what the giant might do to you. Don't worry. I'll look after myself. Goodbye. Oh, God. Scene two. Lovely day today. I wonder if there are any nice fat juicy chickens around. Ah, there's a lively one. Hard work this. Help! I'm caught in a trap. I can't get my arm free. Please help me, somebody. Hi, old. What's going on here? Please get me out. My arm is stuck in this trap. Caught in a trap, eh? A nasty one with metal teeth. Well, don't just stare. Get me out. This is difficult. Oh, God. It looks as if it's stuck for good. I'll give it a really hard pull this time. Ah, there we are. Thank you, I'm free at last. If you want me to help you, just call me three times. Gonzo, Gonzo, Gonzo. Like this? Gonzo, Gonzo, Gonzo. That'll do, goodbye. Goodbye, I'll certainly need some help when I get to the giant's castle. This is my lucky day. Help, help, I'm stuck. Now what did that alien tell me to say? Uh, yes, Gonzo, Gonzo, Gonzo. You did get into trouble quickly. You are clumsy. Let me get you out. There. Lucky we weren't so stuck as I was. Goodbye. I was stupid to fall in that trap. It'll teach me a lesson. Well, it must be going along. Oh, what's this pond? I beg your pardon? Goodness, what on earth was that? Help, help, I'm drowning. I can't breathe anymore. Help, I'm dying. He surely is in a bad way. I better put him back in the water. There, now I'll just wait a minute until he recovers. Oh, thank you. Thank you so much. You have saved my life. What exactly happened? I was doing my morning exercises. 
I jumped too high in the air, and instead of landing back in the water, I landed on the edge. And if you hadn't put, hadn't put me back into my dear pond, I would have been drowned for certain. What do you mean? You only drown in water. Only humans drown in water. We fish drown when we are out of it. If you want me to help you when you are in trouble, just call me three times. Fish, fish, fish. Like this? Fish, fish, fish. That's right. Goodbye. Goodbye. I did like that fish. He was ever so nice. Now I've got two friends to help me. Oh dear, what's that? Sounds like someone else is in trouble. Oh dear, oh me. I'm so hungry. I haven't eaten anything for seven days, ten hours, and twenty minutes. I am so weak that I can hardly walk. Dear me, you look starved, the poor thing. If you don't give me something to eat quickly, I'll die. Well, if I give you my sausages, I'll die of hunger myself. Oh, no, you won't, because if I eat something, I'll be strong again. I'll be able to take you anywhere on my back where there's more food. All right, then. I'll give them to you. Oh, dear, he's too weak to stand up. I'll have to prop him up against the tree. That's better. Ah, I feel strong again now. Thank you kindly. Where would you like me to take you? I'm on my way to the castle of the Heartless Giant to rescue the Prince Animal. I can't possibly take you there. It's far too dangerous. Oh dear me, no. Never, never, never. Can't you just take me within a mile of the castle? I'll walk the rest of the way. Very well then, but I won't take you any nearer than a mile. Hop on my back before I change my mind. Scene 3 Woe is me! I'm so unhappy! I have been captured by the heartless giant and there is no hope of escape. I have to cook for him, mend his clothes, and do all the watching of irony. It's hardly the right thing for a prince to be doing. I will summon the common rescue. Hi, I will fix them. Good summer. Well, it's Mr. Frog from my hometown. I'm glad to see you. Your father, the king, sent me a letter and asked me to rescue you. Which is the best way to escape? The giant has put a spell on me, which stops me from leaving his castle. The only way to break that spell would be to find his heart. He keeps it carefully hidden, and nobody but himself knows where it is his cap. Perhaps you could find out somehow. I'll try to get him to tell me where he comes in. He's got to chop some wood. He'll be back in the time now. Here he is. Go quickly and hide in the cellar. Oh dear, I do hope that the giant doesn't see him. I smell the blood of an English frog. It's only the dinner cooking in the oven. Oh, is that all? You have remembered that horse which stood behind the castle. What? It doesn't stand any longer. I chopped it all down. You are strong, Mr. Sweden. Why are you looking so sad, my little prince? It's so difficult for me to love you when I have to turn your heart. Ah, so you want my heart, do you? It's so well hidden that no one can ever find it. Please, please tell me where it lies. It will make me so happy. Well, I don't see any harm telling you. It's hidden under the front door mat. Thank you a thousand times, Mr. Sweden. No trouble, my dear. No, no trouble at all. Now I must be off to fetch that forest that I've just cut down in our backyard. Goodbye. He does keep his heart in a funny place. It's funny that I've never noticed it there before, and it's too bad to harm. You can come up now, Mr. Frog. The giant has gone. Did you find out where he keeps his heart? Yes, he keeps it under the front door mat. Ha <laughs> ha! You must be squashed flat by now. I'll go and fetch it. I do hope it really is there. I can't find it. Oh dear, the giant has tricked me. Go and hide again, and I'll have him tell me the truth before he comes back. And I'm gonna run out and put some flowers on the front door mat. Flowers on the front door mat? Whatever for? Never mind what for. Go quickly. I can hear the giant coming. When the giant sees the flowers, he'll think that I still believe his heart is hidden underneath the mat. All the forest I've chopped down is now lying in the backyard. That is clever of you, Mr. Trudeau. By the way, what on earth are those flowers lying about on the front door, man? Can't you guess, my dear Mr. Trudeau? It's because it's the place for your heart, man. Oh, oh, so you really think that I would be stupid enough to keep it there? Well, I lied to you. It's not there at all. You are unkind. I am so unhappy, John. So you really want to know where it lies? Oh, yes, more than anything in the world. All right, then, I'll tell you. 
It's under my pillow in the bedroom, and now I've got to chop all the wood into tiny pieces so that your delicate little hands can fit them in the kitchen stove and cook my lamb. Cheerio! That's another friend of those for the to retire. I met this friend, Mark. The giant has learned to move down. His hand is not there. And the rat has put flowers on his pillar. I've chopped all the wood up for you. You'll have enough to last you the whole winter. That is kind of true. I put some flowers on the pillar. What on earth for? Oh, I see. You think my heart is hidden under it. Oh, oh, oh. Well, I lied to you again. Our heroes are cruel. Please, please tell me the truth. You remember Sir Happy. Well, if you really want to know, I'll tell you. Far, far away in a distant land, there is a lake. In the middle of that lake, there is an island. On that island, there stands a temple. By that temple, there stands a well. In that well, there swims a duck. In that duck, there lies an egg, and in that egg lies my heart. No one could possibly find it. My hiding place is far too good. Well, I must go and put all the wood in the barn. Goodbye. At last, I feel sure that you told me the truth. At last, it sounds far too good to be another lie. Mr. Frog, come quickly. I know where the heart really is. That's marvelous. Tell me quickly and I'll go fetch it right straight away. Now listen carefully. It's rather complicated. In some distant land there is a lake. In the lake there is an island. On the island there stands a temple, and by the temple there stands a well. In the well swims a duck. In the duck lies an egg. Finally, in the egg lies the giant's heart. Phew! And who might remember all that? I'll go quickly before the giant comes back again. You'll be free very soon now, friend animal. Goodbye. Goodbye. Look after yourself. Soon I'll be back in my father's castle. I want my dinner. I'll run out of cows. Scene four. I've reached the temple at last. Now what did the prince say? By the temple stands a well. That must be it. Oh dear, there's a door across the top and it's locked. I'll see if the key is inside the temple. It's hanging right at the very top on the inside of the temple. I can't possibly reach it. I'll call Gonzo. He'll be able to reach it. Gonzo! 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 Hello! In trouble again? Yes, could you please fetch me the key which is hanging high up inside the temple? I won't be a minute. Thanks ever so much. I've done my job, so I must be off. Well, goodbye, Gonzo, and thanks again. Now let's have a look inside the well. There's a duck right at the bottom. The prince said, in the well there swims a duck, and in the duck there lies an egg. To get the egg, I shall have to catch the duck, and the duck is too far down to reach. I'll call that nice fish. You will help me. Fish! 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 Can I do anything for you, Mr. Frog? Yes, please, fish. You know that old duck at the bottom of the well? Yes, of course I do. I've known her for years. Could you ask her for the egg she keeps inside her? She's a very bad-tempered old duck, you know, but I'll do my best. Oh, you've got it, fish. In that egg lies the giant's heart. Will you help me open it? Oh, dear, I don't like this heart very much. It's too noisy. I better go home and leave you to what you like with it. Goodbye. Goodbye, fish, and thank you for being so kind. Ah, now that I've got the giant's heart at last, I can make him do anything I like. I, I'll see if he can feel this. Whomever it is, please don't touch my heart. It hurts. I won't leave it alone until you have done exactly what I tell you. I'll do anything you want, as long as you don't squeeze my heart. Then release Prince Animal. Very well. I'm going to throw him right across the world to where you are. You'll have to wait a little for his arrival. Off you go, my little prince. What's happened to me? How did I talk to The giant threw you across the world. Are you feeling all right? Yes, thank you. I'm glad to see you, Mr. Frog. You really have lunch with me. You don't think that Ricky Giant can get us any more? I'll make sure. Mr. Sweetums, do you promise to behave yourself in the future and to stop kidnapping princes? Yes, yes, I promise. Because if you don't, I'll squeeze your heart really hard. I'll be a good giant now, so never squeeze my heart again. Just in case he breaks his promise, I'll keep his heart. Shall we go home now? Scooter must be getting worried. Yes, let's go home. I'm longing to see my dear father at home. Goodbye, everybody. Goodbye. The end.